Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Aziza Sisse, a GP with a specialist interest in women's gynecological health and health inequity. And today I wanted to touch on a topic that's often overlooked, but incredibly important, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS within the black community. PCOS is a condition associated with hormonal imbalances, which cause a variety of symptoms, which can include irregular, heavy, painful periods, weight gain, excessive hair growth, acne, and fertility problems. It affects millions of women worldwide, but research shows that black women are disproportionately impacted by this condition. Symptoms experienced are much more intense. The insulin resistance, which is the cause of the weight gain in this condition, is also much worse. And as such, black women diagnosed with PCOS are at higher risk of obesity and cardiovascular problems such as heart attacks and strokes. Because the symptoms experienced are worse, including acne, excessive hair growth, and difficulty losing weight, this has an impact on self-esteem and mental health. Despite all this, black women tend to experience gaslighting and symptom dismissal by healthcare professionals, which lead to delayed diagnosis, inadequate and suboptimal treatment, and ultimately it affects the outcomes. There is also the effect of weight stigma that comes into play in all this. Unfortunately, within this community, understanding about PCOS can be limited and as such, so many suffer in silence, not realizing the underlying cause for the symptoms. So what can we do? We need community support, advocacy, empowerment. We need to break the silence surrounding PCOS in the black community and ensure that every woman has access to the resources and care that she deserves. We need better education within healthcare professionals about PCOS in general, and also its impact on black women. Anti-discriminatory training is also essential in tackling conscious and unconscious bias. And as uncomfortable as these conversations can be, they're so important to have, as this is the lived experience of several people. So let's keep talking about it and pushing for change. Thanks so much for watching. If you think you may have PCOS, please see your doctor for further support and treatment that you need and deserve. Please don't suffer in silence. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on. A new video drops every Thursday and Sunday. So if you have any topics that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments and I'll get to it. Thank you so much for your engagement and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.